I never really thought about b being a instructor or I guess a, a teacher of any sort. I just, it was just something that came about. I've done clinical scene before and uh, when I had the opportunity to come over and be a part of the RGB college and careers at the time, it was definitely something different and new, something out of my uh, comfort zone, but it's uh, been great. It's been really good. My name is Michael Ortega. I'm an LVN here at RGB College. I've been working here at RGB College now for almost two years. How I discovered RGB careers was I was an actual student here. I was in cohort five, went through the program in 2013, graduated and actually graduated with honors. Uh, went on to the pediatrics and eventually found my way coming back, found my way coming back to the college to instruct and um, this is where I'm at now. First initially started here at RGB College, I was in the simulation lab, eventually worked into the lecture role which I eventually started doing anatomy and physiology, both AMP1 and NP2 and that's what I'm currently doing now as well as I'm also heading up the simulation lab which is of course the virtual reality of uh, being in a clinical setting. You know one thing here in the simulation lab, it does get real real quick. Uh, once they sit in front of that patient and they hit start, it gets real. Whether we're setting for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, they really get absorbed into that patient. And you can see not only uh, the patient's heart rate going up, but you see the actual students are also, their anxiety is start to step up as they start to go through the scenario. Because it does, it gets, they, they do go into a virtual reality and they do get sucked into the whole scenario. The big thing that I do like, I like to show here is, is, is patience. You know, we're, we're, uh, when we do give a medication, it's about setting back, watching, monitoring. It's not just about constantly interacting with the uh, patient. It's something that where we do something, uh, we do either do an assessment, we do some sort of medication administration and setting back monitoring and seeing the outcome. It's not immediately reacting, constantly reacting. It's a lot about monitoring. The simulation lab is, is a great tool. It's a great tool, it's a great alternative to the real thing. Uh, the nice thing about the simulation lab is we can go through a scenario and if the scenario doesn't go correctly, we can put it on pause, talk about it, talk about what we're doing, what kind of medications, what kind of alternatives we can do. We can hit play and continue the scenario out. If the scenario goes sour and the patient tends to possibly uh, decline, we can always hit restart and redo it again. And in the real world, we can't hit pause and we can't hit restart. So the virtual reality definitely, definitely makes a big difference in our clinical settings and learning.